Hello, hello, happy Monday, everybody. I know, a random time to come on, but y'all will see this again in a minute. So, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Lauren Delgiro, AKA The Solutionist. I help people to restore and to remaster their credit profiles so they can make the big purchases their family needs to grow and to create new streams of income. So, I just wanted to pop on really briefly and kind of touch on the the topic that I touched on last week as far as the bombshell and what credit is really intended to be used for because it's not buying stuff remember credit is actually not intended to use to buy consumable goods and stuff that's going to have the effect of you needing to go to work to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week just to pay these bills and these bills are doing nothing to actually advance your, your mission, your higher purpose, to advance your family, generational wealth, or to make your life any easier. But I wanted to pop on and kind of expound on this. If credit is not intended to be used to buy consumable goods, what is it intended for? What can it be used for? And how did we arrive here? So credit is not necessarily intended to buy the consumable goods, the, the clothes, the go shopping, the, the vacations, the toys, the cars, the jet skis, the boats. Yes, it does serve its purpose in helping you acquire these toys, but it also comes right back around on you because you do have to go to work to be able to pay for these fun things. Otherwise they disappear and they go bye-bye. What should you, could you use it for? What was credit's real intended, its higher purpose use, right? Credit was intended to help you create sources of income or whoever was using the source of credit. Uh, credit is not a new concept. It's been around since the dawn of time, uh, using what other people have to get what you want. That's credit, am I wrong? Using other people's money to buy the things you want now, but you don't have the cash for it. This is what credit is. This is what they used for. But over time, it has become, instead of using it to buy assets, things are going to bring you a positive monthly income. Businesses have been very successful in teaching people, convincing people, showing people that they want to use their credit, their good name, their other people's money to buy stuff because it serves the businesses really well, right? For example, you buy an iPhone on your new card because you don't wanna pay the monthly payments, so you put it on your credit card. Not only now are you paying the cost of the iPhone, but any interest that starts to accrue after a promotional period or after those 30 days. So the credit card company has made money off of you because you bought the consumable good instead of using it to create a new source of income. You used it against what it was really intended to be used for. So when I was touching last week on what credit can be used for, these are the things I was talking about. Uh, buying multiple family apartment buildings, buying multiple family homes, offering, offering housing to your community. You can also show others the path to great credit uh, by helping them on their journey in a lot of authorized user situations. There's a lot of situations that you can use to create income with credit really the limitation is your imagination. There are streams that have been used time and time again for years to help people create income using credit. But it is really about, about how imaginative and what you can structure and what you can bring together that's really gonna determine your limits on credit. So I really just wanted to again pop in really quickly, really briefly to expound a little bit on last week's bombshell that credit necessarily isn't used to buy the stuff, the things, and the toys. Credit, when you're using it to its highest capacity and in a way that's going to benefit you, is used to acquire streams of income. Things that are going to bring you money that you don't actually have to go and make it be away from your, your family, from your home that you're going to work to pay for that mortgage all the time. There's a lot of freedom options that come from credit. I know you guys hear me say all the time, credit is options, credit is money, credit is freedom. But when you really learn how to use it and you learn how to leverage it and the power that's really derived from it, and then we compound that with the consumer protection laws that our nation has in place, and you really are a powerful being as a consumer. 
So again, uh, last week I talked about what credit is really used for and I dropped that bombshell on you. And I wanted to talk more about what we can participate in and experience that'll bring new streams of income. Hi, whoever you are, good to see you. So we're talking about streams of income and how to best use credit as opposed to how we've been conditioned as a society to buy things that become a, a bill. They become a debt. You have to go to work to make money so that you can pay that monthly statement every month. And if you don't go to work and you don't make the money and you don't pay the monthly statement, then that thing goes bye-bye or it goes into collection, whatever the case is. But when you're using credit or other people's money or other people's whatever the case may be, now you're able to bring in the credit, but you don't have to exchange to to bring in that money. You use somebody else's money to, to facilitate that and to create that. And it's really about creativity and there's thousands of ways we can use credit and I talk about them all day long. Hey guys, if you have any questions, put them into the chat or I can bring you on camera. Surely I can figure out there's a little button here that says bring them on camera. So surely we can get that managed if you have any questions. If you're just coming on and you don't know who I am yet, hi, my name is Lauren Dolgaru, um, also called The Solutionist. I help people to restore and to remaster their credit profiles so they can make big purchases that their family needs to grow. But also, most importantly, my mission, my passion is to, to teach people, teach families how to create new streams of income. Uh, credit uh, doesn't, shouldn't be like it's become is a, uh, an expendable need for consumable things that aren't going to be there for very long. It's the mission, my mission, Total Solution Trust, all of my teams, my partners, to you know really spread that out there and let you know that there is more use of credit than using it to go shopping or to buy the vacation or the car or whatever the case is. There's, there's ways that you can use credit that's gonna bring you income that you don't need to go to work to exchange to get it. It's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing, but Make sure that you ask questions. Send a DM if you don't want to ask in a public forum. Uh, you can always email me uh, at info at totalsolutiontrust.com. My name is Lauren Dulkiru, also the solutionist. Hi, whoever just came on. Um, here to answer your questions, I want you, I really desire you to understand credit and how to use it to what it was really intended to be used because freedom is a thing. And when you know how to use credit and you know the power and the potential behind it, you get to taste freedom. You get to taste that thing that everyone's seeking, that everyone's looking for. And it's really just learning how to use that and harness that for your own greatest good. So again, I just wanted to come on very briefly. You know, I've got my little spot that I sit here and wait for Dominic, you know, to be picked up time for school. Sometimes I get an extra couple minutes, so I'll come on here. Um, but I'm just waiting in my little pickup spot. I'm going to go get Dominic from school. But again, if you guys have any questions, reach out, DM me. Uh, if you're comfortable asking publicly, feel free to ask in the forum. I'm sure there's other people with the exact same question that you have. So do not feel like you are alone. We're not alone in this process. Everybody's going through the credit process in one stage or the next, right? We start off when we're teenagers, we start learning about the concept of credit, how it, how it is used, how to you know, best use credit cards, what are things that you can buy, how do you maintain it, how do you grow it, how do you manage it. These are all things we start learning when we're younger. We start getting different ideas and concepts. But then as we're older, we can graduate to new things like how to create streams of income, how to create generational wealth, how to create those reserve stores that everybody needs for their rainy day. Nobody wants to face the rainy day, but we still need to have the reserves for when we do have it. And what better yet to make sure that you do have it at your access and your disposal without first having to go work for it, put it into a bank account, and hope that inflation and taxes don't eat that up. So that's quite another thing now, is it? Hi, Jeffrey, thank you for joining me. We were just talking a little bit about credit and you know the bombshell that I dropped last week that you know credit really was not created or intended to buy consumable goods and stuff 
the, the actual truth and the actual reality that's, that's been around for thousands of years is credit can be used to create income. And that's how it was used for millennia by people who had money and were trying to get more money because we're all seeking what? More money, more frequency, more currency, um, more value, more wealth. We're all seeking these. These are, these are things that we as, a human, as humankind generally have in common. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. In any case, I'm popping off. It is pickup time, so I'm going to go get Dominic again. I'm Lauren Delgiru, aka The Solutionist. If you haven't seen any of our videos, make sure you check them out on YouTube. Uh, they're on Facebook. They're on LinkedIn. You can find us just about anywhere. Put Total Solution Trust into the domain address bar. Check out the website. We have some more videos over there. There's some articles that have been written specifically about credit restoration and how you can use that to springboard and to catapult your own credit further. So again, I'm Lauren Dolgiru. Make sure that you hit that like button, a whole bunch of subscribes to all the stuff and Total Solution Trust because you're not going to want to miss out on this information we're bringing forth about credit because I'm telling you, nobody's talking about it. They're talking about disputing things and they're talking about just writing a letter for that. They're not talking about the actual principles, the laws, the things that are really going to make a difference. Now, while you're restoring your credit and fixing it up, when you have great credit, when you're creating new streams of credit, and when you're creating more streams of credit, you're always gonna need these principles. You wanna have them in your toolbox, in your tool chest. And that's one of the great things about having an educator and an advocate is you have somebody there at your side teaching you and showing you the way, holding that guiding light, holding that lamp. So in a lot of these journeys that we take, people say, oh yeah, it's so easy, just do this, just do that, right? Check YouTube, there's tons of how-tos. But you know, honestly, if it was really that easy and it was so fast to catch on, then mm, riddle me this, why does 80% of America have poor credit? You know, if having great credit and maintaining it and learning how to use it properly was so easy and we could figure it out just with a couple clicks of a YouTube channel and we're done we would all have great credit. When you have an educator and an advocate, you have that teacher in your corner. You have them in your round. They're, they're rooting for you. That guiding light, again, going on ahead of you, showing you the rules, showing you the players, how to win, the process to do so. That's where you're really gonna get the benefit in, in learning the processes in credit, processes in credit is having an educator and an advocate at your side really teaching you the nuances that YouTube clearly isn't providing. Otherwise, we would all have awesome credit. Am I wrong? Just saying. Hello, hello, who's here? I wish there was like stars and bells and whistles when somebody appeared or left, like there was a door slam noise or something, that'd be cool. Or maybe there is, and I just don't know how to use it. That, that, that's totally a possibility as well. Anyway, credit. It's one of those things that excites me because we all like using other people's resources to get the job done, right? Credit is the same idea, same structure. We're using other people's resources, other people's money to achieve our desires and get our jobs done. So credit is important. It touches every aspect of your life, as if you didn't know that if you've listened to at least one of my videos. But check out YouTube, uh, whoever just came in. YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, videos, credit education. It's good stuff, it's awesome stuff. Um, questions, always if you have questions. If you're not cool putting them in a public forum, you can email me, info at totalsolutiontrust.com. You can DM me, Lauren Dolgaru also known as The Solutionist. And we're always here to answer your questions and help you move forward in your own credit journey. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here because the teachers are gonna start looking for me soon. But thank you for joining me, guys. Bye.